Hi guys, a super duper quick intro this time around. I'm preparing the material for the school. Uh, there are just few spots left for this first basically class that is starting on the 16th, the week of the 16th, so you still have time. You can contact me if you need to arrange some payment schedule. So my um, basically email and the website is below in the description. And also the next basically school term is going to be May the 15th so maybe you kind of like want to target for the next kind of entry which kind of could be better so thank you so much for being here for me I would highly appreciate if you like and subscribe and share that means a lot to me and also please follow me on Instagram and Facebook because there I kind of have the tidbits about tarot on Facebook you also have daily tarot so that's something to look at and lastly join me for my live sessions so for that you need to be a subscriber to be notified so you know when it is and that's it talk to you next month love you Hi Aquarius and welcome to your bimonthly Lenormand. This is covering mid of April to I guess mid of June, so bi monthlies because I'm trying to alternate with gypsies, which gypsies are exhausting. And so it's this one. So let's see what's going on. First of all, it's going to be a karmic period. Absolutely something it's going to be needed for us to really show and prove to us ourselves a commitment to something. So think twice before doing something because in this period it's not going to be tolerated to be done halfway or kind of lukewarm. I, I still kind of like see over here, <laughs> I don't know, still as the last time some 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 people could be moving because the house is in the house of the house is in the house of the sky too many house words and the sky is in the house of the flowers so it almost like looks like because i do, did notice the ship over here as well and here i noticed this which kind of like combine can mean the same thing so either could me mean, mean literally physical move or it could simply mean kind of like putting an end of one phase, which kind of like was my first kind of like train of thought, kind of reaching to conclusion because the very first card that kind of like came out was the book. And you see, the book talks about secrets. We don't know what's in this book. And even if you did read this book, you still would have to open and open and open several times to kind of heal. Another thing, the book is, and I don't know what this is called in English, you know, this healing uh, snakes, helix, right? Uh, and the book is in the house of the writer, which is house number one. And look at that. He also has the same symbolism. So if we have been ill or if we had to deal with some issues, where is the tree house? We might kind of like really address it formally, see a doctor, kind of do it. 
I see that some of you might be pregnant and some of you are kind of like really wondering uh, if this pregnancy is going to go well, kind of like really obsessing about it, to be honest. But that's okay. That's kind of like normal in that situation. Now, some of us are putting things in the past because even though I have the gentleman and the lady, guys, this is kind of generic reading. So either of them can be you, both of them can be you, none of them can be you. They can be the person you are inquiring. So if you're single, maybe that's going to be the person sort of like whose vibrations you're kind of like picking somewhere in the dark. So here I see that somebody kind of... Um, as I said, somebody may be moved, somebody may be finished a relationship that has been existing in the past. It's kind of interesting that they have coffin and the lilies. So we are dealing with somebody here who is kind of well off and who is also kind of like hot to trot. So it's kind of like interesting combination, kind of like how it works. Because it could be that the person has lots of options because this is in the house of the whip and the whip is in the house of a woman. So the good news is that this person is finding you or, or, or basically uh, another partner in their life really kind of sexy. And maybe you're going to get just like one of those weird kind of messages, you know, when you get male genitalia which really nobody's really looking forward to it, but that is going to be their ex expression. Hey, you know, this is me. I was thinking about you. And what is there to say? Is this, you know, a rocket in your pocket or you're just happy to see me kind of a thing, right? So I, I think it's going to be really interesting because this confuses me that they are like there is some kind of darkness maybe something has ended in the past right but it looks like it's almost like getting reopened the lilies is, is in the house of the ship which i've noticed here right and the lady is in the house of the lilies so when these kind of elements line up this is basically telling me you know whether you are like distance apart living in different cities countries right or or there is like something separating you which could be work could be family could be religion or simply you kind of like distance yourself from somebody sort of like maybe took a step back in a relationship it is moving forward ha who mercury retrograde is finally i guess over so uh the birds is falling in the house of the heart and it's kind of like heart is dominating this and heart is like in the house of the fish so i don't know about this person i'm telling you they seem to be like really kind of like good in in their career but they're missing something and they think that that something can be seen in you or vice versa or you're seeing something in them that seems to be like very very significant but look at this. Another storyline is like, hey, I'm also very happy to see you. Now let me show you from the other deck, the, the whip card, how this is being presented like this. So, hey, games are always okay. So, guys, it looks like there is like the spirit coming through it. The bouquet is a really good card. And so is the clover, right? Both of them are indicating some kind of happiness and some kind of commitment, right? Some kind of commitment in spite of kind of like having, because this is falling in the house of the mice, which means that distance was something that was problematic, is problematic, is going to be problematic, like past, present, future, but certainly determined to go forward. Now, the fly in the ointment is the snake, right? I look for the mice, I look for the snake, and then we have the stork. There could be another person involved. And it's kind of really interesting because look at where the gentleman is. It's exactly the same positioning. It's almost like mirror. So this person might be committing to two people. You see, when I told you the heart is in the house of the fish, and fish is falling out here, but it's in the house of the clouds. So fish is more about the money, which I can see here, the money. The mice could be about the money. 
So this could be about the child. So it looks like maybe, maybe a possible scenario that somebody moved out from matrimonial home or lived with somebody. And it was a difficult decision to reach because there were children possibly involved, right? And the loyalty was like really to a child because look at the dog is knighting this child. And the dog is like in the house of the letter, which the dog is knighting with the letter. But at the same time, this person was like, well, this is the right thing to do. And then this person kind of like feel felt like, well, you know, you, you kind of like have to choose, right? Because the ring is in the house of the paths and or crossroads and crossroads are in the house of the stars, which is in the house of the man, kind of like the stars and the letter communication, you kind of have to tell me, and you have to follow your own promise, your own word. It almost looks like the lady is cracking the whip as well, even though they can actually really talk about the sexual attraction. And I can see Aquarians getting back in shape. I guess count me in because the tree and the whip generally talks about going to the gym because it's a healthy kind of like, you know, thing. So this is kind of a good news. I'm sorry. Right, guys? Sorry about that. It's a, com it's a Mercury retrograde, right? That was a computer shop calling me that officially my laptop is dead. So how is that? Motherboard. <laughs> kind of like he's like, you have to change the motherboard. Well, um, I have the other computers, I guess, motherboard is not going to be changed, so. Mother to Earth, so what was this? That was a sky, something has died. So you can see like really things in action, how things are going, but that was supposed to happen and we are moving forward. And forward, it kind of looks really nice in a good direction, so. I really hope your Mercury retrograde was not that bad, but Aquarians are ruled, we are ruled by Uranus, and Uranus is higher octane of, higher octave of um, Mercury, so Uranus sort of like ruler of Mercury, so we might even get really more affected, but more on a spiritual level. So let me kind of go back and kind of like really give you a little bit more because I was just about getting to the really goodies. So look at this happiness, some new, and it's going to feel weird. We are not going to feel in a power position. The lady is in the house of the Lilith. So there is like a reunion or communication with somebody who is abroad or with whom we have been separated, distanced, right? So the clover is uh, here connecting with anchor somebody kind of like really wants um i don't know like to kind of like feel more stable more solid and looks like both this guy and and uh, kind of like the lady is kind of like looking that way the only thing that i really don't like is that the bouquet is in the house of basically the cross the karma and this is the house of the bouquet which is the skite so it's kind of like one of those bittersweet things. Sometimes you have to give up certain things. And I can see, especially if this is a long distance relationship, somebody will have to give up their home. And maybe this is what is talking about that. So these are kind of tricky situations to kind of like envision and go because trust is not just like a small T, it's a capital T because we really have to move forward in a different direction with trusting that we are going to stabilize in this kind of like new environment, right? But it looks like two people are really looking forward to it. Now, I'm not so sure who the heck is the snake, but the snake is thinking about papers, children, um, money. The snake is also running into a whole bunch of difficulties, but because the mountain is over there and and the mountain is <laughs> we like looks like <laughs> this is kind of really weird it's almost like inverse this could be the person who was previous partner who is staying a partner because of the children because the stork is in the house of the child of the child and hence 
this is you see this is the house of the bear she kind of like or he still wants to kind of like get the benefits of money and of kind of like moving forward kind of like all the benefits without any kind of investment so some of that might not work out and this is house of the snake where it kind of feels for this person that the third party interfered with her relationship and hence it's happening here so now let's revisit to see how and who let's say is going to win i i don't like using the word win because it looks like there's this combination of things that it's more moving parts than just like between you and the partner it's as you can see a lot of things happening we have in between here look where where you're meeting um, these two guys or this could be a third person a new person who that could be arriving on a horizon but I really think this is somebody from the past so here we have where they're meeting in the garden the mice the fox the tower the stork so as I said, it's already about the children, but it's also about discussing and it could be some kind of gossip and it could be that um, communication here is not really great and it's kind of eroding and it's kind of like put down. It's more or less, as I see by Fox over here, just kind of like one of those, I have to do it. I have to maintain this, you know, civility in the name of the children, right? And I have to maintain the finances in order to um, basically maintain their lifestyle, right? But this person over here is opening a completely new path, right? Even if they don't end, if that's us, if we don't end with this other person or vice versa, there's like something really good happening look at it is the garden the tree the ring the ship the birds so hey a healthy dating which probably looks like that's maybe why we are getting in shape and communication about love right and look the love is here meaning so who do you love so one looks like relationship is obligation another one is love and happiness it's not without a glitch there are like still the birds over here right and the birds can indicate gossip and somebody and looks like this person same as us it looks like one person is talking badly about another and vice versa so keep in mind this can happen but things are going to clarify because I, I really don't think that we can build any relationship on the house of cards so um, I guess this is going to be one of those situations where we need to expect accept situations and somebody's past somebody that exists and has to exist in order to move forward so aquas hopefully this was helpful and hopefully your computer is okay and your phone works and you didn't have a flat tire or anything like that but cattero.ca is still online so you can book your reading there and please subscribe, share, like, and I love to read your comments. So until the next time, oh yeah, join my school. I would love to see you there, especially you Aquas. All the best. Love you.